Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is August 8th. It is Monday, 2022. Uh, before we get started, I just want to remind everybody I will be live streaming for my hardcore preppers tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh, I do that every Monday for the hardcore preppers. So if you would like to join us in that very exclusive group, um, you go to my main page here on YouTube, you hit the join button, you become a hardcore member, and uh, you will be able to see that live stream. Um, I do appreciate the other levels of support as well. It really does help the channel out. So uh, I want to make sure I thank the rest of the, you know, my supporters that way that uh, are beginning and uh, intermediate preppers. I appreciate your guys' support as well. It really does mean a lot to me. And it definitely helps out, especially with YouTube playing as many games as they play. All right, so... Uh, I had three goals today that I wanted to accomplish. Now, when I was cutting grass yesterday, uh, I let everybody know in the live stream that was watching, I had finished the upper meadow. Uh, I had all the way to uh, basically the corner here down, uh, that much done. So the only thing I had to do was this area over here today. What are you whining about? Um, so, I don't know, don't pay attention to me. So I got that cut. That was one of the things that I wanted to do this morning. All right, so I cut that, got that part done. Uh, the second thing I wanted to do was take the clippers and cut this pile down uh, smaller pieces so that I can use some of it for kindling because I obviously have my group coming this weekend, so I want to make sure and got some buckets there. I'm going to put some of the smaller stuff in buckets. Hella! Enough! Um, and... Uh, I'm going to uh, stack up the rest of the, probably underneath the tarp, just, or we'll see. Um, but, uh, so get everything ready for when everybody comes this weekend. But the smaller stuff I'm going to put into the buckets for a kindling starter. But, uh, so, I, I, you know, a lot of people complain and say, oh, well, you should, you know, let some of this grow and blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna, we're going to walk up here a second. And I'm going to tell you what I think. So, when I sit here and I look at that view and it looks like a park, especially with the grass cut, uh, it looks amazing, absolutely amazing. And uh, so you see the grass under the solar panels a little bit there, a little bit around the buildings. Uh, I had my neighbor, uh, you know, I've, I've talked about Randy and Diane and they're good people. Uh, Randy had called me this morning. And he said uh, he needed to, he was asking if he could borrow the trailer in my lawnmower so he could go and cut his brother's grass because his brother is older. He's like 80, he's got a lot of issues. And so I said, of course. And he says, I'll give you 20 bucks. I said, I'm not taking any of your money. And then when he came down to get the lawnmower, I said to him, I said, I'll tell you what, how about this? If you bring your weed whacker down, about 10 minutes worth of work, and weed whack you know, around the camper, around the, you know, battery room, and around, uh, you know, the solar panels. He goes, absolutely no problem. So, you know, there's one hand washing another. You know, it really, really does make a difference. So the third thing that I wanted to do today was uh, get the um, shelving unit built in the shipping container. And so we're going to slowly walk up here because you guys are talking... Oh my God, Prepper Nurse One. See, you see this, okay? And it don't look bad to you, but if you're walking it, so here, first of all, walking it and then talking on top of that, all right? <laughs> Doing those combination of the two things, it, uh, it is definitely, this is a lot steeper than you think. So we're gonna come up part way. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna kind of show you the view of everything. So how long, so here's a question I'm sure somebody's going to ask, how long did it take me to cut my grass? All right, so let's turn around here first and look at that beautiful view. Uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Now eventually, that gravel pile will be moved, uh, utilized in different spots. And so that will not always be there and be an eyesore spot. Uh, that will be taken care of. There's gravel in front of there that I have to rake back. That'll happen eventually as well. <laughs> so
So, but anyway, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous view. And, uh, you know, I just, when the grass is all cut and it's done, it just looks amazing. So, I figured I would take, oh, so how long does it take me to cut my grass? All right, so probably what I do first, so let me go on this side so you can actually see what I'm gonna talk about. Around the solar panels, uh, in front of the camper, around uh, the battery room and all that. I have to push mow all that because I can't get the rider in there to do what I need to do. That takes me about half an hour. I guess would be, if I had to guess how long that took, it took about half an hour. All right, for that part of it. Now, then riding. So yesterday, I did the entire upper meadow, most of this lower meadow, and I did that in four hours. I finished up that other area today. It took me maybe 40 minutes to do the rest of it. So you figure all together, probably about five hours and 15 minutes for me to cut my grass. So when people are like, oh, that's a two-day project, da 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 it's really not, you know. Uh, if I hadn't run out of time yesterday, because I started, I didn't start cutting the grass um, up with the rider until three. I had done the other stuff earlier. But uh, once I was on the rider, you know, I, I did it from three o'clock until seven. And then I wanted to take a shower before the live stream. So tell me this is not beautiful. So when Randy came to pick up the trailer and the lawnmower, uh, I was teasing him a little bit. And I said, Randy, you got to get in there and square away that uh, cemetery. I said, you're ruining the aesthetics of my, uh, you know, of my place over here. And he started laughing. Because uh, he was like, he said to me the other day, ah, I got to get back there and I got to do the cemetery again. Um, I don't touch that because that is theirs. And I mean, I cut around it, obviously. But uh, I'm not going to, you know, let's put it like this. If nobody else was doing it, then I probably would. I'd go in there with the with the uh, push mower and try to clean it up as much as I possibly could. But uh, that's not the case. He's you know been doing it, so I leave that to him. It's his family thing. And uh, but you can see down over here, um, I'm slowly working my way back through those weeds there, and just on the other side of them, you probably can't tell, but that whole area back behind, way before the pine trees there. That's all cleaned up now. So I've been working, you know, each time I ride or mow, uh, I cut that back a little bit more. Uh, it's a complete pain in the behind, but, uh, you know, slowly working it back. But uh, I think, like I said, I think it come, came out really, really nice and uh, really, really pleased about that. And I just, I just think, like I said, this view, it, it looks like a park, you know, so... Uh, I enjoy it. I did get inside the path there and I cut back as much as I could where the road into, if you will, the shipping container is. Uh, the, what you see still up, it's all rocky and uh, I can't get over on that with uh, the rider. So that's the only reason those things are still standing there. But other than that, you know. But anyway, so that's, that's what, you know, my three projects that I wanted to get done today, they're already done. So I'm not sure what else I'm going to do today. I have to figure that out. Uh, at some point, I do have to go do laundry, and I do have to go shopping. <laughs> so, uh, but I think the forecast is calling for rain on Wednesday. So I think that might be the day that uh, I take care of those those things. So this is too nice to go be cooped up inside a laundromat doing laundry today. So uh, there's a beautiful, nice breeze. But, uh, yeah, I just, I'll tell you what, uh, beyond blessed, I can't even begin to tell you, is how I feel about having this property. And again, uh, eventually, I will be putting something over here so that I can see that gorgeous view in the morning. Um, have it uh, like a little two-story thing. So, uh, you know, so I can sit up on a deck, have that beautiful view, uh, have coffee in the morning. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And obviously there's a shipping container down there. So, yeah. 
So that's what I'm looking at. It's just, uh, I'm very, very blessed, very, very fortunate to have found this piece of property. Uh, very lucky to have good neighbors. Uh, the young man that owns the property next door to me here is a nice guy as well. And uh, so if somebody had asked, did I put up the fence or did somebody else? And he put up the fence there because what he plans on doing is having uh, horses or cattle back in here. Uh, I think he's, he was telling me possibly next year. So uh, he's the one to put that up. And it, and it actually, it's, it's cool because it really defines, lets you know exactly where the line is. So, you know, and actually he put it, um, he told me like a foot back um, on his property. So like a foot is on my side, or my, you know, is what I'm cutting is actually his. Not a big deal. <laughs> so um, I would want it to look nice no matter what. But uh, so yeah, so like from the fence line over, this is all mine. Um, it goes that way into the woods and down uh, to the creek bed that way. And it follows that all the way around uh, the creek bed that way. Now, okay, so the property line here in the corner, right? So the tree is marked there. Uh, he, this kid owns along the, the uh, tree line here. Somebody else owns that woods down that way that connects with me on the back side. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a fair piece of, uh, of property. Like I said, it's 25 acres. So that goes down through the woods, down through that way. I've taken you guys down there before um, and shown you the waterfall and stuff like that. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, that's where I'm at. Love it. I'm blessed to be here. Uh, productive day. And so somebody had said, well, you know, a lot of times you don't show what you're doing. Well, if, I'm, if, I, show, if I show myself cutting the grass, people complain about that. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I didn't think it was very exciting to put together a shelving unit. Uh, so I did not put that on film, you know, and me cutting up the trees, I didn't think that was so exciting that it should be on film either. But uh, little things that have to be done, little things working to making forward progress. So anyway, guys, um, I will be doing a second video that will go up at 7. I'm, I'm sliding down the hill. Let me get over here where it's not so gravelly. There we go. Uh, so remember... Um, so I'll be doing that, and then I will be live streaming at 8 o'clock tonight. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, if you work methodically at your goals, you will reach them. Uh, everything just takes time, and that's all you got to remember. You know, you work on it, it'll come together. All right? So anyway, folks, I am going to jump off. I will see you all later. Have a good day. Prepper Nurse One, out for